charging and discharging of materials how can a material obtain charge from several methods there are so many methods out there for charging good morning students i am here again and going to teach you the further part of properties of charge because three three properties of charge were left yesterday and after that i am going to teach you the charging and discharging of materials how can a material obtain charge from several methods there are so many methods out there for charging so let's start the remaining three property in the remaining three property the first property that here is that invariance of charge all right what is invariance of charge invariance of charge means what variance means something that can be changed or that can change invariance is just opposite of that invariance means cannot be changed or you can say do not change whether there is any type of condition so here let us suppose what is invariance see some there are some things that actually changes with respect to anything with relative velocity when we talk about relative it's all linked to relative see we have two things invariance we have there are two things one is mass another is charge okay two fundamental properties of matter one is mass second is charge so what about mass what can we say about mass and what can we say about charge if we are talking about mass first everyone knows or at least you will know in future if you will study the theory of relativity which is i think at the end of the chapter at the end of the class that mass actually is not a constant quantity mass is not actually a constant quantity mass is not a constant quantity if we are talking about relativistic nature okay if we are talk about the relativistic nature of the pro of mass then it is not constant which means it can vary and it does vary but when does it vary we all we have always studied that mass is constant whether there is speed or not let me tell you something whenever we talk about speed compare with c what is c speed of light the first thing that you need to understand that variance or change in mass or not constant or changes mass does not change when you are talking about normal speed with respect to ourselves but it does change when we talk about speed that can be compared with the speed of light like how much speed like you can say speed as 2.9 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second or 1.3 into 10 to the power 7 meter per second speed like the these type of speeds can vary the mass 
these type of speeds can vary the mass clear but what about charge if we are saying charge are invariance invariance that means that means that charge doesn't vary relativistically relativistically it means mass can vary in relativistic condition but charge cannot vary in relativistic condition clear first thing is clear everyone having any doubt about it anyone having any doubt about it clear all right so these are the things that we need to understand invariance clear i think you get it that mass is variance but charge is invariance copy it and after that this is the fifth property now we will be talking about the sixth property of mass we will be talking about the sixth property of mass that is sixth property of mass that is a very simple property the simple property states that simple property states that charges attracts and repel each other charges attracts and repel each other all right all right charges attracts and repel each other clear but we know that charges are of two types charges are of two types so let me make some cases about it first case positive charge positive charge second case negative charge positive charge and the third case is negative charge and negative charge these are the three cases now we don't know which one will attract which one will repel so there were some experiments according to which a result has came that positive positive repel each other positive positive repel each other negative positive attracts each other negative positive attracts each other and the last part negative negative also repel each other which means this gave us the condition that is actually this gave us the sixth property that states that like charges repel each other and second is unlike charges attracts each other copy it the sixth property and after that we will be discussing the seventh property all right now it's time for the seventh property
वट इज द सेवेंथ प्रॉपर्टी स्टेट्स सेवेंथ प्रॉपर्टी स्टेट्स दैट लिसन क्लियरली वेन एवर लेट एस सपोज देर इज ए चार्ज क्यू एट रेस्ट एट रेस्ट मीन्स v इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो क्लियर एट रेस्ट मीन्स v इज इक्वल्स टू जीरो so if v is equals to 0 it states that it can only produce electric field it can only produce electric field clear all right it can only produce electric field okay sir now this is the first condition of property number 7 now the second condition of property number 7 states that if there is a q moving or in motion but moving in a constant velocity constant velocity then what will happen if it is moving with a constant velocity then what will happen it will not only generate the electric field but also generate magnetic field whenever there is a moving charge with a constant velocity it will also generate magnetic field oh, sorry about that it's totally gone sorry so electric and magnetic field complete after that we are going to discuss about the accelerated charge we are going to discuss about the accelerated charge third point q is a charge and accelerated charge it is now accelerated which means velocity changes which means that velocity changes velocity changes means what velocity changes means the charge will now be producing not it will always produce electric field it will always produce magnetic field if it is in motion but in this case it will also produce electro magnetic wave okay what is this electromagnetic wave what is this electromagnetic wave i hope you remember in the chemistry in 11th class you have already gone through a term name is spectrum in spectrum we have studied every single wavelength of electromagnetic wave from cosmic ray cosmic ray to radio wave radio wave what were these cosmic rays gamma rays x rays ultraviolet visible infrared microwave radio wave what are these these are nothing but electromagnetic waves they are responsible for us to see the things so every time any charge is accelerated it always produce electromagnetic wave copy it and after that we will be discussing another topic that is charging methods of charging clear so methods of charging
Hmm. Now we are going to talk about the methods of charging. All right. Methods of charging. So we are going to talk about methods of charging right now. What are the methods of charging? Let's see. First method. First method is friction. All right. Second method is conduction. Okay. Third method is insulation. Fourth, fifth, sixth. There are total number of six methods in your syllabus in which the major part will be of these three friction, conduction, and insulation. Sorry, 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 inductance. Sorry, sorry, sorry about that. Inductance. It is inductance. Inductance. Sorry about that. I was not in, you know, conduction, opposite of conduction is induction. So, it was in flow insulation so it is con induction so these are the three process by which we can charge the object clear these are the three process by which we can charge the object mainly yeah there are another also like photoelectric effect you know photoelectric effect another one is uh, you can say thermionic ionization the term is heavy thermionic thermal ionic which means that include heat energy with the help of heat we can charge the body how we will be discussing in further chapters now photoelectric effect thermal thermionic and then field emission the last part is field emission so we will be studying approximately three one of these three methods of charging and the other three will come in the further chapters like photoelectric in modern physics thermionic ionization i think it will be in uh, heating effect of electric current and then field emission will be in electrostat but in you know next chapter electric field so start it let me start we will be discussing only these three okay now let's talk about friction the first method is friction first method is friction friction means to rub the two bodies with each other friction means to rub the bodies with each other clear this is the meaning of friction we are rubbing the body we are rubbing the body these two bodies by rubbing we can say that one of the block is electron can be transferred to block b clear is that clear how will it how will it occur how will it occur see this is an electron body a and body b every single body have their own electrons of the outermost shell clear but the electron will be emitted to those who are having weakly bounded outermost electron weakly bounded outermost electron 
weakly bounded with comparison to whom by which you are rubbing the other body strongly bounded outermost electron electron with respect to body a it is respective it is relative that a if a is having an electron which is weakly bounded with respect to the electron of the b then a is having a very higher chance to transfer its outermost electron to the second body clear is that clear so by this method we can say after the process by this method we can say after the process we are having these bodies as let us suppose any plus and here minus n plus any minus any this is body a this is body b what is n let us assume there are n electrons transferred from body a to body b when n electron will be transferred from a to b there will be deficiency of n electrons in body a there will be a deficiency of how many n electrons in body a so that's why it will possess a positive any charge and similarly it will gain an e charge by absorbing the n electrons from body a clear clear now there is one extra point that i am going to discuss here is charge sorry mass that i am going to discuss here is mass okay so if you are talking about mass let us say let us say ma not was the initial mass of block a mb not was the initial mass of block b but here an electron has been transferred from a to b from a to b now we can say that if the electron is being transferred then it is sure that mass of electron has also been transferred if electron is going from body a to body b which means electron is having mass and this mass will also transfer from a to b is that clear if you are not getting it let us suppose you are having approximately let us say seven coins in your pocket and if you are dropping the coin first of all you are losing the money money is not the unit of mass money is the unit of economy first of all you are losing the money and the another thing is you are losing the mass of coin also so this mass of coin is been reduced by your body from your body in the same method we can say electron is transferring from a to b so electron is carrying its mass also from a to b by this method we can say that let us suppose after the process block a is having mass m a mass m a final f and it is having mass m b final but how much mass will it be see here ma final will be ma initial which was ma not and an electron is transferred from n from a from a means the mass from a is been reduced which means minus n times mass of electron clear what is mass of electron 
again i am telling you mass of electron is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 kg remember this value remember this value always in the same way we can say mb finally is equals to mb not plus n times mass of electron copy it and we will be going to clear and here you can say it has also been charged plus any minus any so now there will be two bodies body a with a charge of plus any and body b with the charge of minus any and it has been they both have been charged by friction copy it and we will be moving on to the next method of charging clear the next method of charging is the next method of charging is you can say conduction you can say what conduction you can say conduction conduction clear now let us talk about conduction one of the basic charging method one of the basic charging method let us suppose we are having a body with a mass sorry with a charge with a charge q and another sphere and one more thing let us say it is they are conductors they are not insulators ah one one more thing i need to tell you that is that is that is there friction charging by friction by friction works on both conductor and insulator how give an example sir you have already performed i experiment so many times in your school time well you are in school obviously when you are in school like you take a scale which is i think uh, made up of uh, plastic and you rub your scale in the in your hair and then you just cut the piece of paper and just you know take the scale very close to the paper what happens the paper just tries to come close to the scale and you can see scale just pulls the paper up so how is it happening when you just rubbed it when you just rubbed your scale in your hair some charged particle transferred which cause both hair and the scale to get charged by the transfer of electron and there will be a, if there is a charge and then it charge and then this charge attracts the paper how it will happen we will be trying to discuss in induction we will be trying to discuss in induction the first thing is clear that by rubbing whether it is conductor or it is insulator by rubbing we can say it contains charge now here i am having an experiment to perform with you this is a you can say a simulator there is a simulation that i need to show you it's a very good one don't worry 
see this is a insulator and this is your jacket you are wearing a very good jacket but you know right now it's summer but you are wearing a very good jacket <laughs> obviously you know in ac so whenever we do just one thing like we are going to run it. what is happening here what is happening here the thing that is happening here is uh, this balloon is just taking the negative charge from this sweater here and it has been now negatively charged and the sweater has been positively charged sir how can you say negatively charged positively charged let me show you show all charges show charge difference this is the difference this much charge has been extracted by the balloon in negative so this much electron balloon has taken from this sweater so this much positive charge will be on the sweater and the same charge will be on the balloon negatively clear so now if we say about show all charges you can see that it is now let us say this is a conductor this is a conduction wall this is a conduction wall that was an insulation let us suppose we are just we need to slow it down a, a little bit mm, no not an option okay clear now let us say if we are just left it behind it is attracting if we just left it here it is attracting by the charges clear it is attracting now if we do what see this is in inductor so a sorry this is insulator so in insulator electron cannot move in insulator electron cannot move like we are having it you know we are taking it very close to the insulator but the electrons are not moving but same if we same do in conduction conductors you can see in conductors electron can move internally they are moving look at it so it also states that electrons are freely bounded in conductors but freely moving conductors but are bounded in inductors and now you can see that it is going very slowly but what happen if we just remove all the possible electrons and shift it to the balloon it will go very fast why because magnitude of the charged particle has been increased magnitude of the charge has been increased to the both and you can see now they are also moving very far from the previous condition so this is the case of friction clear i hope you get it so we can remove the ball also no matter now go to the next method of charging conductor conduction okay there is a one conductor that is positive charge yeah and the one thing is conduction can be done only in conductors clear now what happen if we well this is a switch it is a conductor it is an also conductor it is a charged conductor it is a neutral conductor it is a charged conductor it is a neutral conductor now if we close the switch now if we close the switch what will happen what will happen here is remember these two are similar similar spheres clear these two are similar spheres now what will happen here is just keep on watching what will happen here is that because these two are really very similar the charge will be transferred equally from one to another which means 
that after the switch is closed after the switch is closed the both both the sphere if they are similar in the dimension both the sphere will will be equally charged if means if there are two charge in this single sphere and the switch was open initially after closing the switch both the sphere will be equally charged by dividing the total mass of these two sphere in half total mass of this total charge of these two spheres in half q by 2 q by 2 what was the initial charge what was the initial charge of the system what was the initial charge of the system it was q here it was q final is also q but equally divided clear this is the charging of spheres by conduction clear now let's talk about something else okay clear now talk about something else let me give you some examples also let me give you some examples also other examples are see we have one sphere having a charge plus 2q we are having another sphere having a charge plus 7q initially circuit was open switch was open okay switch was open after closing the switch after closing the switch what will be the charge on both on both come on just this on both the sphere now it is 2 coulomb sorry it is 2 q but it is 7 q how will charge transfer to this they are similar by the way as as like the previous condition they are also similar how will it happen now look first of all talk about the whole system how much is how much charge is the whole system consisting plus 7q plus 2q the total q will be total q will be plus 9q if we close the switch this 9q will be distributed to these two equally so 9 will be distributed here as 4.5q and 4.5q equally because the both sphere are similar in dimension clear now if you say if somebody ask you how much transfer how much charge is been transferred from here to here which is obviously possible which is obviously the common thing because initially it was having 2q finally it is having 4.5q it means charge is not transferred from here to here but from this sphere to this sphere how much charge has been transferred let me calculate initially it was 2q finally it is 4.5q then the total change in charge total change in charge now the total change in charge delta q is equal to delta means change final charge minus initial charge what is it 2.5 q this is the transfer of charge from this sphere to this sphere which means first it was 2 and now it is 2 plus 2.5 q similarly initially it was 7 q now minus 2.5 q the both are getting the same value 7 minus 2.5 is 4.5 2 plus 2.5 is 4.5. Clear? Clear? Now, 
let's talk about something else now we are going to talk about induction the method of induction now we are going to talk about induction induction all right we are going to talk about induction see here induction first of all induction is mostly possible in conductors only not in insulators it is mostly possible in conductors only ठीक है mostly in conductors mostly in conductors clear 99% or even more now look let us suppose we are having a sphere it is a neutral body which body neutral body if we take a rod which is you say positively charged what will happen here it is a neutral body but a conductor also so what will happen here it is neutral it is not been connected by any wire to any body and not in contact of any other thing it is insulated right now isolated you can say not insulated isolated now if we bring a rod close to the sphere which is positively charged what will happen if it is a conductor electrons are free to move if electrons are free to move they will be attracted by this positive rod so all the electrons not all but mostly the electrons that are free to move will be coming near to the positive charged rod then what will happen if this side is being negative then this side will be deficiency of electron this will be positive now just look at it something very interesting i'm about to tell you this body is not even charged right now it is not charged till yet it is not charged but when it will be charged let me tell you it this whole body itself is neutral even right now what is happening the charge has been separated in the body within the body the charge has been separated which is called and this process is called this process is called this process is called polarization this process is called polarization it means the sphere is polarized now but is not charged it is neutral but polarized charge has been separated within the body but hasn't came out from the body so this is the polarized sphere but not charged sphere it is right now even neutral sphere clear okay so after that we are going to do what let me let me check it we are going to do what we are going to just we are going to earth it what is earth thing what is earth see first of all this is the symbol of earth thing this is the symbol of earth thing just remember it this is the symbol of earth thing clear this is the symbol of earth thing okay 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 Mhm. Mm this shape yaar. Yeah. This is the symbol of earthing and nothing else. Clear? This is a symbol of 
अर्थिंग दिस इज अर्थिंग सी अर्थिंग मीन्स अर्थिंग लेट मी टेल यू अवर अर्थ इज अ टाइप ऑफ कंडक्टर अवर अर्थ इज अ टाइप ऑफ कंडक्टर दैट कैन होल्ड a very very large amount of charge a very very huge amount of charge that we can never imagine i mean we can imagine but we can never get this this magnitude of charge so our earth is doing what if there is a positive charge for now it is not 100% true we will be discussing it in capacitor we will be discussing it in capacitor and potential but for now just assume this earth will send electrons if we close the switch this earth will send the electron to make this side of this is fair neutral and after this process we will be left with this only and then we will again just open the switch after opening the switch we will be doing what we will be doing this now we will be removing this also and after these many processes now our body is negatively charged and this have been charged by inductance so this is the process of charging by inductance clear now complete our session has been ended as i have told you that we are going to discuss the three methods of charging conductor friction and inductance and the four properties of charge clear we are ending the session right now and in next session we are going to study about coulomb charge we are going to start the coulomb charge coulomb's law and everything clear yes ma'am yes ma'am ji one second ji 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 uh sorry what it was a very important call so we are ending this okay we are ending this so clear just wait for tomorrow and uh, we will be having a lecture on coulomb's law clear and coulomb's law is as simple as gravitation and you have all studied gravitation very well clear thank you very much and have a nice day